Hello and welcome. Today we are here with another segment of Ask the Expert with Dr. Vander Mullen of Advanced Dental Care right here in Springfield. How are you doing today, doctor? Great, Natalie. How are you? I'm doing well and we have a lot of young families here in Springfield and they have to figure out how to take care of their kids' dental health. Do you have any tips for them? Well, the first thing is toothbrushing and it should start at um, basically six months old as soon as the teeth come in and then uh, brushing with uh, fluoride toothpaste with only the size of a grain of rice until age three when it graduates to a pea size. Um, you're, the, as a parent, you need to brush the teeth first and let the child follow up afterwards. And you should do that two times a day. All right, those are some great first tips. And how soon should people bring in their kids to their first dental visit? We usually recommend around age two. That's when all the baby teeth are in. That's usually a time when the kid can, you know, sit up in the chair and respond to things. And at our visit, we try to keep it light. We have what we call a happy visit, so they have a good positive experience. Oh, and that's awesome. Everybody wants a good first visit to the dentist. Yes. And how often after that first visit should people bring in their kids? And do you have any treatment suggestions? Well, kids grow and change fast, right? So uh, we recommend that uh, they come in twice a year. The two uh, treatments that we think are, are really important are to do fluoride treatment and also uh, to do dental sealants as soon as they uh, become age six when the adult teeth come in to protect the chewing surfaces of the teeth from cavities. Okay, and then a lot of people like to say that they inherit bad teeth. Is that true or false, Dr. Vandermullen? Well, there are a few anomalies out there, um, but most people say they complain they have soft teeth, there's soft teeth in the family, and basically the soft teeth are from soft drinks causing acidic damage and, and causing cavities. Okay, well, thank you for clearing that up, Dr. Vandermullen. It's been a pleasure talking yes. to you, and this has been another segment of Ask the Expert right here at Advanced Dental Care. For more, go to newschannel20.com.